In this problem, we are going to reduce this to a single trigonometric expression. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So one way to do this is to maybe write everything in terms of sine and cosine, and then go from there. So secant is one over cosine. So instead of secant, I'll write one over cosine x minus, and then here we just have cosine. All of this is being divided by a tangent, which is sine over cosine. So this is sine x divided by cosine x. And then here we have parentheses, and there's also an implied parentheses here in the numerator. All right, so in order to write this as a single trig expression, we want to clean up this complex fraction. So you'll notice there's a cosine x here and there's one down here. So what I'm thinking we can do is we can multiply by one in a really clever way. This is really cosine x over cosine x. So again, just multiplying by one, which is basically the same thing that we have here because the cosines cancel. And so now what we can do is we can distribute. Basically, we're gonna take this cosine here and multiply it by both of these terms. So cosine x times this will be one over cosine x times cosine x, which is really just one, so you can just put one here, and then minus, and then cosine times cosine is cosine squared. All divided by, so in the denominator, we have cosine x times sine over cosine. So you can think of this as cosine x over one in some sense. So basically these cancel. So we just have sine x on the bottom. And these cancel as well. So let's clean this up. We end up with one minus cosine squared x over, and then it's all being divided by the sine of x. And this is an identity. One minus cosine squared is the same thing as sine squared. And this is divided by sine. So you just get the sine of x. And so that would be the single trig expression. So I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.